Hey guys, this is Keso and you're watching Keso Designs, the channel which brings you all the automotive information, DIY mods, car reviews, bike reviews, product reviews and also some quick tips and hacks. So if you haven't subscribed yet, consider subscribing. So guys, today I realized that I haven't vlogged lately. And not just that, but also that it's been almost a month since I've last uploaded any video on my YouTube channel. Firstly, I'm really, really sorry about that guys. I'm really sorry that I haven't been consistent enough. But today, I promise you guys that I'll try to be as consistent as possible from now on. So that being said, today I've decided that since today is kind of a busy day for me, I have decided to go ahead and vlog today's day. So today's video is yet another vlog for you guys. So today, first we are going to attend a movie called Rampage and then we'll do the rest of the things. So as you guys can see that I'm completely ready for today's day, let's start today's vlog. So let's go. There she is. There's my car standing right in the front of the parking line. She does look clean, doesn't she? So first, let's put this wipers down. This one too. And then let's open up this rear view mirror. With that opened, it's time for the other one to open too. Um, here we go. And now it's time to unlock my car. Now let's get inside. So guys, we are in the car and now it's time to fire her up. So now as she is all fired up, it's time for some morning starters. So let's hear to some exhaust notes. I recommend you guys to put on your headphones because the exhaust note of this car is really, really awesome. Let me throw in some quick tips for you guys over here. Whenever you start your car for the first time in a day, don't just put her in gear and start driving. Instead, wait for some time let's say 30 seconds or so. What it does is, it helps in circulating the fluids throughout the engine and it also helps in increasing the engine life of the car and reduces the wear and tear of the engine. Guys, just have a look. There are two things that are bothering me right now. The first thing is that the time that my car is showing me is wrong because it's morning over here and it's already 5.58 in the car. So I'll have to reset it. And the second thing is that my car is already in the reserve, so I guess we'll have to visit the gas station first and then the movies. So guys, we have finally reached the gas station and guess what, I just realized that I've used up all the reserved fuel of my car as well on my way to the gas station. Thank God we reached over here without facing any breakdowns in our way. So guys, we are done fueling up and now it's finally time to head on to the movies. Damn guys, I am so excited to watch Rampage. Seriously guys, I am so 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 excited. I just can't wait anymore.
So guys, our movie tickets are with us. So it's time to go and watch Rampage. So guys, finally we are done watching the movie. And damn, that was one hell of a movie guys. That was one hell of a movie. So guys, now that we are done watching the movie, it's time to head back home. So let's go. So guys, I'm back home from the movie and boy, that movie is damn, damn awesome guys. It's really, really awesome. So in case you haven't watched Rampage yet, I recommend you guys to go ahead and watch Rampage. It's really an awesome movie guys and the storyline of the movie is completely insane. I really loved it. And in case you have watched Rampage, so why don't for the sake of Rampage, go ahead and put a thumbs up to this video and give a like. <laughs> so guys, in the beginning of this vlog, I told you guys that there is something that I got to tell you about my legend, my custom built Honda City. And the thing is that few days ago, my custom built Honda City caught on fire. Yes, guys, it literally caught on fire. So the thing that happened is it was just another day, I was lying on the couch and the bell rang and I opened the door and it was my security guard on the door and there is only one thing that came out of his mouth and that is there is smoke coming out of your car sir. By listening to that I rushed towards the car and saw there is immense amount of smoke coming out of the car and I rushed to bring some water and by the time I could bring the water the car was already on fire. There was fire coming out of the bonnet and literally the situation was damn, damn insane. All of the people from the apartments and the building came down and helped me to put out that fire. And it was damn, damn terrific guys. Seriously guys. I was literally shivering. Means I could also hear some explosion. I guess that was the plastic container from the engine bay or something but seriously guys that situation was really really terrific for me i really am thankful for the guys who helped me in putting out the fire because that could have been really really dangerous the whole car could have exploded but guys literally all the thing from the car from the engine bay is completely burned the bonnet is completely burned the paint is literally blacked out and peeling off it is that bad i had installed new headlights in the car and it is completely burned they are completely back blacked out i'm like damn whenever i think of that situation i actually couldn't have done much if it wasn't for the guys who helped me with it I'm really, really thankful. So guys, now that I've told you, it's time to go ahead and let me show you the car. So let's go. So guys, here you go. This is my custom built Honda City Type 1, also called as Legend. And this is its current condition. Just have a look guys, the current condition of this car is so, so bad. And do you guys remember? I told you guys that I had installed new headlights to this car and now just have a look. Since it caught on fire, the new headlights are completely burnt and blacked out. Damn. And guys, since the fire was underneath the bonnet, the bonnet is completely burnt. It is burnt to bare metal. You can actually peel off the paint with your bare hands. It's that bad guys, it's that bad. And now. That I've shown you the exterior of the car, it's time to have a look at the interior. So let's get in. 
so guys this is the interior of my custom built honda city type 1 and this is an aftermarket steering wheel we replaced the stock steering wheel of the honda city type 1 with an aftermarket momo racing steering wheel the rest of the interior of the car is quite normal we didn't change it much but there is one thing that we did change and that is the gear knob we replaced the stock gear knob of the honda city type 1 with an aftermarket sparko racing gear knob which is one of my favorite feature of this car so guys there is one thing that i didn't tell you and that is today i am going to sell this car to the junkyard and now that i am sitting in the car i have realized that i am going to miss this car really very very much so guys now that i have shown you the interior it's time to show you the condition under the hood so let's get to it here you go guys i've popped up the hood and as i told you guys that the fire was ignited underneath the bonnet everything in the engine bay is completely burnt all the plastic containers the fluid containers the air filter holder as well as pipes and hoses are completely burnt and guys the tow truck is already here so it's time for her to leave as you guys can see the tow truck is finally here so it's time for my custom built honda city type 1 my legend to leave they have already hooked up the car and now they are trying to lift the front of the car damn guys it hurts so much to see the car like this so guys they have finally lifted the car and there you go they have hooked up the car to the tow truck damn guys these are the final moments of me with my car so guys this is my custom built honda city type 1 my legend my pride and honor and it's sad but it's time for her to leave time for a final goodbye there she goes guys there she goes the car is leaving me guys i just can't watch her leave guys i just can't watch her leave I am going to miss her so much. I'm going to miss her so, so much, guys. Guys, there she goes, guys. There she goes. Damn, guys. I'm going to miss her really very, very much. Damn, I feel like crying. Guys, my custom-built Honda City Type 1 is gone. My legend is gone. And I remember of a logo falling down over here while I was pushing the car. There. There it is. I seriously got to have this logo, guys. I seriously got to have this logo. Because this logo will keep on reminding me of my achievement of modifying my first ever car. Damn guys, that car will be missed very, very much. So guys, I'm back home and my legend, my custom built Honda City Type 1 is gone. <sighs> Believe me guys, this is one hell of a sad moment for me because I was so, so, so attached to that car. And all I'm left with right now is the Sparko gear knob. And the logo of that car so all i can do is just have a look at it and have a walk down the memory lane but you know the saddest part about today right now i just realized that i have spent very very little time with the car but believe me guys the amount of time that i have spent with the car is one of the best time of my life and i'm really really gonna miss her seriously guys believe me i am going to miss the car anyways guys so i guess that's all for today right yeah so that's where i wrap up today's vlog guys i hope you have liked the video if you have liked the video please do like comment share and subscribe and if you want to subscribe just click on the button over here and don't forget to press on the bell icon so that you can get notified each and every time i upload a new video so guys that's all for today hope to see you in the next video till then this is keso signing off see ya